Hey everyone, for all of you who experience this strange little bug here with Windows 11, Samsung Neo, G9 and also G9 monitors and AMD video cards, this video could be interesting because uh, I'm going to show you here how to get rid of this bug for now and what to do to also not get it anymore automatically. All right, as you can see here, we have 160 Hertz reported here in Windows. We have also reported it here in the AMD driver. And I just showed you even the monitor itself reports it with 160 Hertz instead of 120 Hertz, which would be normal. This bug only occurs, of course, in the 120 Hertz mode, but not in the 240 Hertz mode. So if I change this to 240 Hertz, everything is fine. But of course, there's the little problem that you will not be able to do FreeSync anymore below, uh, what is it, 96 Hertz. Let's turn FreeSync Premium Pro on. And here it is. The freezing range as reported now is 69 to 240 Hertz. So if you want to go lower than 69 Hertz, uh, you will encounter our little bug because it occurs in the 120 Hertz mode. And uh, well, I can also tell you I've tested this in games and the motion does not, does not feel right when the monitor is reporting 160 Hertz and uh, well, it's actually a 120 Hertz mode and also FreeSync. FreeSync will not uh, work at 130 Hertz or 140 Hertz. It only works up to 120 Hertz. So, well, it shouldn't occur. It's bad. It should already be fixed, especially since I can tell you that I first encountered this bug back in September, August 2021, when I made all the videos about this monitor. But in all honesty, I would have thought the bug would be long gone by now. And, uh, well, but it isn't. All right. As I already told you, the bug only occurs under Windows 11. So if you have Windows 10, and this monitor here, you might want to uh, stay with it. And the first driver that has this bug, I think it's a September driver, but I can definitely tell you that the October driver here also has this bug and also the newest one here, the February 2022 driver also has the bug, which I found very, uh, very bad, especially because, well, it's uh, the monitor is not so new now and Windows 11 is not new, so they could have fixed it. But I, of course, in all honesty, only um, not so many people encounter this bug. But I think it's high time that there is a solution video in the Internet for those people that want the 120 Hertz mode under Windows 11. All right. Um, well, I can spoil you now. What you have to do is go down to a lower driver. But this is under Windows 11 not so easy as it sounds because when you install an old driver and um, that does not have the bug, Windows 11 will try to give you automatically a newer driver and bug included. So first you type GP edit here. Then we need to go, let me make the light here, administrative templates, Windows components. We need Windows update. We need manage updates offered from Windows update. And we need here, do not include drivers with Windows updates. That's very important. You have to set this to enabled. So enabled, you won't get updates, disabled. You will get driver updates and you do not want this. This is a good idea. Anyway, so 
especially because the Windows 11 driver does not work together with the AMD Radeon software. So if you have uh, the Windows 11 driver with the with this software here, the software will tell you it will no longer start because it's not compatible with the driver. But welcome to Microsoft and stuff. Okay, as you have seen, I have already disabled the Windows driver, so I will not get this anymore. Let me just show you one more thing. Um, I have to turn FreeSync out for that. The bug does not only occur in the 120 hertz mode, but I think it's only there that it counts because no one will play with 60 hertz mode on, right? But just to show you for reverence here, if you have 60 hertz, you won't have 60 hertz, you will have 81 hertz. That's also the bug. Okay, time to get rid of this thing. Um, when I go down to a lower driver version, I usually really deinstall the old driver. So this is what we are going to do now here. We want AMD software and we want to uninstall it. Back in the old day, you had to use driver removal programs, but this here in our time, it really works well. So AMD software will uninstall itself. Okay, I'm right back when this is done. Okay, driver is now uninstalled and computer has restarted. Um, what I now usually do, what I do not need to do, but maybe you need to do that. You need to go to the device manager and open the video card and take a look if you have the option to roll back the driver. I had to do this before to get to really get the computer clean, but because my oldest my, my previous driver is already the correct driver. It automatically went back to that one and it won't let me roll back now anymore. But it, it is also not needed anymore for me. I'm For me, this is fine here. But if you can roll back your driver, you have to do that to make sure. Okay. Otherwise, you are now ready to install the, the, the working driver again. Let me just open this one. Okay, here I have it. This is the Windows 11 AMD driver for 120 Hertz for the G9 series. It is actually uh, the Windows 10 driver from August last year. And let, we are in, we'll install this one now. I'm back when it's done. Okay, it's just done. And uh, let's check quick. And as you can see, we are now back to 120 hertz with the driver from August uh, 2021. And let's check this here. We have freezing premium on. We have 120 hertz refresh rate. I mean, it's basically, I made all my videos last year with this one. So all is working again now. And if you have disabled the Windows 11 update driver, the automatically update, you will also keep this driver now. Uh, yeah, well, as you can see, this is the, what's this, 21.8.2 driver here. So I'm sure you can find this in the internet somewhere. I have not checked now where it's available because I still had it. So uh, if not, write something to me and I can upload it somewhere but uh, it should be available for download in the archives from AMD or... Okay, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you have this bug now, well, I hope it gets fixed in a newer, in a newer driver, but right now, this is the only way that I have found.